Hi, this is Tapcat. Welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. We're getting ready to head out to the the uh, cove here in just a second. But I'm going to go into the guild. And we're going to upgrade some abilities. And actually, he has quite a few. I don't... Yeah, no, let's, I'll do that too. Okay. And then JP is mostly okay. Uh, but let me go ahead and grab that. Actually, I'm just going to max him out. Any ability, you know, that I could see wanting to flip between, I'd rather just get it sorted out. That way when we're out there, oh, actually, he's fine. All right. And uh, we don't need to go to the survivalist for camping skills because this is going to be a short dungeon. And uh, there will not be a camp out. So here is our group, the Bounty Hunter. And I'm equipping Dismas's head for extra damage. And then something to help relieve the extra stress that it's going to give him. Uh, this will be the first time we have brought an abomination along. So that should be fun. We will have our cultist, who again has a trinket that gives extra damage, but also extra stress. So this will help pull that off. And then our plague doctor, who has trinkets that will give a little boost to his stun chance and his blight. So that is our group for this mission, or this quest, I guess I should call it. Uh, ultimately, I'm kind of trying to start gearing up so we can go fight the hag. Uh, but that's going to be a little while. I really want to have a Hellion for that fight. And so far, I don't even have one. So, you know, we have to get a level zero hag first and then level her up. At, I mean, at least a one, if not two, preferably. All right. Well, enough talk. Let's go ahead and grab some stuff here and it's not expensive I'm just gonna take it and then do I want another anti-venom I don't think so I think that's fine they can cause some bleed in there so I'll just bring one bandage and a holy water that should be fine Wait, I don't have torches. Well, that would have made for an interesting outing, I think. Oh, by the way, before I forget, so we used a mark party either last time out or the time before. And I just wanted to make it clear, like, that's not the ideal mark party because it's not like we kicked butt and took names, you know, with that particularly. must be flushed out. Um, the, the biggest thing is, yes, the grave digger has um, a certain amount, or grave robber, has a certain amount of damage buff from a mark, but nothing like the arbalist. Uh, I think it would have made a big difference, but we didn't have an arbalist to put in the group. Um, also, I think they really show their worth much more so against bosses than ordinary mobs. So anyway, it was just something I thought of after the fact that uh, I didn't really say much about it one way or the other at the time, but I didn't want people to get the impression that like, you know, hey, here's the ultimate example of, um, uh, you know, uh, what am I trying to say, of Mark Party, when uh, obviously that was not really the case. Uh, they can get a lot better. Sweet, got a little stress heal out of that. Uh, do I have? No, we don't have anything scouted. As Just checking. Gains purchase, spirits are lifted, and purpose is made. Clear. All right, the cove can be fairly rough. Um, they just stunned my plague doctor and hit him with stress. And this will be an interesting one for stress because I did not bring anyone who specifically has stress healing. And um, beyond that, I also... Hmm. 
Um, I have the Abomination who can cause a lot of stress. So. Alright, that's one guy down. And man, we almost got him. Okay, so there's two ways we can go with the Abomination. I can go for the Manacles, which is probably what I'm going to do. Uh, we can do Beast Spile, and that would be good, except this spot would be one of the two getting hit with Blight, potentially. I could also transform them, but that's I'm not going to do that right now. Let's go ahead... So if you're not familiar with the Abomination, he can transform into a beast. And then he does more like melee type damage. And pretty good melee damage too. But you stress out the whole party when you do it. So I actually, uh, it's funny, like a lot of times I really get a lot of value out of an Abomination just using the uh, chains, the manacles, and... Um, um here hang on a second wait oh i'm sorry i misread that okay that's fine uh the ch the manacles in the beast pile that's what i was trying to say uh and actually i'm gonna go ahead and do that Don't judge him by it because he is level zero by the way <laughs> like He'll get better, trust me. It's, uh, I'm gonna have to swap out some powers after I, uh, after this fight. Of war can be healed, Just one for him, actually. Do I want to do another heal? I think I do. All right, let's kill this thing and end this fight. I don't want to get a uh, stress message. Ah, crap. Yeah, okay, we're still fine. Wait, you know what? Nah, I'm just going to take him. All right. Um, before I move... Let's do this. Obviously, I'm not in a position to use the melee attack. And I would like something that can affect the front rank. So I think that'll be a good addition for me. Ooh, all right. Four pelagic groupers. Well, the nice thing is that means like it doesn't matter what rank I take out first, really. I'm going to go ahead and do this because I can use him to go Abyssal Artillery and that'll almost certainly kill this guy. So that'll at least be one down. I'm going to do this too. Yep. Give them no quarter. And at this point, Plague Grenade basically just hits one guy, so I might as well use this. So this, I'll go ahead and do this. We'll stack the blight on this guy. That'll make short work of him. He's actually going to die when his next turn comes up. I'll tell you what though, he's going out in style because that was a really good hit on my abomination. Wow, these guys do not like him, do they? Okay, then in that case... Hmm... Let me think about this. Um, I only do four points around, so this actually isn't that amazing because I still need somebody else to hit him. So maybe I just go for this. I can't. Uh, okay. Sorry, I'm dithering. Okay, I am going to do this. I'll let this guy live through this turn. Now, this absolutely, uh, yeah, this is the rough part of an occultist. You can get some really bad rolls. Eradicated. All right, so I'm not taking any damage anyway. 
Let's do absolution. That'll get me a little health back. Man, I need it too. Holy crap. Hmm. What, did he take two turns in a row? Is that what happened? At least he didn't attack him. Yeah, let's try, let's try another. All right, he's bleeding, but that's all right. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Okay, well, I brought a bandage for that very purpose. And I'm gonna eat a couple of food. It's funny, at the end, my bounty hunter is actually hurt worse. Uh, less backtracking if I go this way first. Yeah, unscouted trap, but thankfully he dodged it. In radiance, may we find victory. Oh, brother, more food. Sweet. Let's go ahead and read this before I have to throw it away. So, I cannot recall why we ventured onto land. Why did we leave when Mother Ocean provided all we needed beneath her tender waves? I will now return home, back to her embrace. Hmm. Uh, sorry, I meant to delete that. I hit the wrong key. All's quiet. Okay, shovel, please. Uh, hmm. I mean... This is worth more alone, but I have two of those. So, is there anything I want to get rid of? Mm. I mean, the dodge stone is not great. I, I, yeah, I'll do that, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Crap. Ambushed by foul invention. I wish our scouting was uh, a little bit more on point. We are not exactly kicking butt and taking names in that department. Okay, well. Fair enough. Huh. Well, alright. I mean, things are going okay. Other than getting way too much stress on my poor uh, plague doctor. I can't really complain. Oh, you know what I just realized? I uh, I didn't I didn't rename my abomination. All right, Eddie, you're in. Yep. Sorry, I was thinking I hadn't brought anybody new, so I didn't mess around with renaming. But, uh, yeah, absolutely. I want to keep doing that. Alright, we're getting down to it. Not too many rooms left. Yeah, man. Alright, well, let's do this. I want him down. ASAP. Ugh. Leaving the Thrall alive is a problem, too, but... One at a time. One at a time. So the Thrall, if you aren't familiar with his lovely self, has the wonderful ability to blow himself up and do damage to the entire party. So he is definitely not one that you want to leave alive. Yep, that's what I meant. All right, he's done for. This is how a life is taken. Okay. Um, I need to get a heal in here. I can't leave this guy alive for long. But I, yeah. Uh, all right, I'm just gonna self heal. And then I don't mind doing that at all. All right, so this guy will die this turn. 
That's fine. And I think I won't screw around. Alright, he's done for. Actually, we're not really in dire need of a heal, so... Let's just finish it. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. That's kind of the plan, buddy. Mm -hmm. Another journal. I will return with Cuthbert. Uh, we already uh, saw this one. I wonder... Um, well, okay, hold on. Sorry. Let me uh, let me eat a couple of food because I'm actually gonna get some out of this. Let me see. It's herbs, I believe. Yes. Um, yeah. Wowza. Well, that was a payoff. And I'm going to skip the dodge stone. I already pitched one of them, so. Is this the final room? No, I didn't think so. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean. Nice. Nice. If I can do any damage to this clown, which he can't, unfortunately. But I'm going to go to work on them. Nice. Uh, I, was I was hoping my Plague Doctor would get to go before him. But, I mean, you know, what's a boy to do? Okay. Let's... I'm not going to attack him. I think it's pointless. The reason I say that is I'm going to have my Plague Doctor use Plague Grenade and this should be lethal damage on both of them. Yeah, it is. So he was never going to get to attack again anyway. That's fine. He just protected someone who's going to die to Blight next turn. Good job, my friend. Good job. All right, so we're in pretty good shape here, actually. I don't think, uh, well, he's he needs some kind of damage, but I don't think Blight needs to be the answer. I think we can just take him out the old-fashioned way. And then this guy, he's super tough. You got to, uh, Plague or Blight really helps against him. Let's go ahead and give him the old uppercut. Okay, I could have lived without throwing him back to rank 3, but actually, in a weird way, having him here is good because I can stack more Blight on him. And I quite like that. So, let's see. God, there's like no healing left to be done, so... I mean, there's literally one or two points. You know, one, one, yeah, one point each. I'm not even going to bother with that. See, this guy has 58% protection, if you look down there. That's why my, you know, normal melee attacks are so weak. Uh, but the blight is unaffected and bleed is unaffected. So, it's really good against those particular guys. I'm thinking I'm going to have to get rid of my bandage. I could get rid of the anti-venom. I mean, realistically, the brackish tide pool is probably the only thing in here that I would really use it on. So, as for the oyster, let's pry it open. Well, that was not a princely haul, but I will take it. And I'm about to use another shovel. <laughs> See if well, we can find measure. Yeah. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. 
Okay. Um, yeah, we still have not scouted a single hallway, I don't think. So I have no way of knowing if I'm going to need a shovel. I mean, I could risk the holy water. There's like one thing that we would want it for. Sure, I tell you what. I want the crests in particular, so. Uh, am I missing anything else? I'll ditch the bandage. If nothing else, I can sell that trinket. So the nice thing, this is why I use the holy water. Um, he's got the resistances for the fight, although I don't, they might inflict bleed. So I started to say it's not going to do anything, but they might have an attack that inflicts bleed. I don't remember for a hundred percent. All right. Well, I think we can handle these guys. We took a group of four of them. Bam! Alright, maybe I didn't need the Blight. I should have maybe used him on this guy. I'm not sure. Whatever. There's one that's dead now. And he would would have hurt us otherwise. Destroyed. Man, he can bring the pain. He's actually not great for that first rank. I'm getting away with it right now just because of the time, you know, of the game we're in, but... <laughs> okay, well, this guy is done for. So I'm not going to worry about hitting him again. The Blight will take care of him, yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. This is probably not worth 500. I can't remember how much a common trinket is worth. I'll just do it. I'll just do it. I could probably get rid of the torch soon, too. Oh, now you scout. Now you scout. So there's only one fight left. That's so funny. We the, the very last hallway, I get the scout. Okay. Um, you know what? Haha. <laughs> okay. Um This is massive overkill. I'm going to let one of the others clean him up. I got to take care of big boy here. Uh, yeah. Okay. So that's him. And then I'll just do that. And fish head is going to be the only one left. And he... Uh, I mean, he does decent damage. They really do. But that's the problem. When there's only one left, that's the problem for them. It's not a problem for me. Um, oh, you know what I just realized? Well, it's too late now. I should have transformed him because I just realized I hadn't shown what that looks like at all. So, sorry about that. Because I think this is the last fight. I'm pretty sure. A knight's crest. Hmm. That's not actually a, a bad item. Let's make some room in the pack. So the only thing left is a curio. And I guess I could use a shovel on that. Let's just do this. Get up to 100%. Yep, I am going to need a shovel. Fortune waiting to be spent. And that should be it. <laughs> I was gonna bounce another torch, but I can't do that. Yeah, okay, that's it. At last, 
wholesome marine life can flourish. If indeed there is such a thing. <laughs> That's another one of my favorite lines. I'm pretty sure there's wholesome marine life. Alright, I don't think uh, this is going to move the needle a bunch in terms of unlocking upgrades, but at least you got a little bit of a look at, you know, what the cove is like. Now, obviously, all these areas get harder as you level up. Oh, the tragic extent of my failings. Okay, the good thing is getting JP up to level 2... Because uh, he's one that I want to take to the hag fight whenever we finally can do that. Speaking of which, I finally get a Hellion. Yes. Okay. So let me put her down here so I know I need to rename her. We're going to start using her right away. And then I'm going to grab a second man at arms. strength of youth may be spent. But his eyes hold the secrets of a hundred campaigns. All right. I love men at arms. They're so good. Um, okay. Well, that's really good news that we finally got the Hellion because, like I said, I feel like I need to level her up, you know, before I go to this fight. I'm not going to bring a level zero, and I definitely want a Hellion for that. Uh, so the question is, where do we go next? We just hit one new area. I could do another one next time and go to the Warrens. Or, and this is kind of the way I'm leaning, we could do a medium length dungeon. Get a little bit more um, experience for doing that. And that might be the better way to go. Um, what I should probably do is look at the areas, like, I've maxed out my roster now. So, on one hand, it might be a little ambitious. I have enough deeds. I only need nine crests. So, I mean, we could do this next time. We could do that. Now, the flip side, I mean, you know, it's not a bad idea to, um, to do some of this stuff, too. I definitely, in fact... Did I actually, hang on. Yeah, she's only level zero, so she can't do it. But I'm pretty sure, yeah, I could have upgraded him. Well, that was genius, wasn't it? Let me do this, because I know I'm going to bring him on that mission. And I know I'm going to use him as well. So I'll uh, think about everybody else. But I should have I should have done that. Besides checking in the guild. Okay, so what were my options in there? It was yeah. So I could just go for the crests. Maybe we'll do that when we come back. We'll go for this medium length one. Get the crest to make our roster bigger because there's still classes like arbalist and jester. I don't have any of. And I could get rid of this guy, Dudley, uh, if I needed to, but I'd rather not. So we'll see. Um, you know what? The other thing I should probably do, where's his stress level at? 45. All right, never mind. I guess we're okay. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll leave him at that maybe. Okay, well then, I tell you what, I think that's going to do it for now. I'll put together a party, and when we come back, we will do another quest. Thanks for watching. 